That's irritating. <laughs> Why have I worked 20 years? <laughs> What's wrong with me that I'm not even better? All right. Three, two, one, and roll it. Well, gentlemen, Sam, Noor, it's very nice to have this opportunity to talk with you because uh, I'd been hearing about the killing fields and now you're starting to get uh, a, a nominations, Golden Globes, and I'm sure you're going to get Oscar nominations. I'll, I'll bet the farm on it, as oh, we say you. in <laughs> Texas. Um, but um, such an extraordinary movie and, and uh, such a moving film, a powerful film. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, Sam, if we might start with you. Uh, do you consider this, and I'll, I'll just take everything into consideration, your film and your stage work, do you consider this your very best work? Yeah, I do. Uh, I think that the realization of it, that the whole realization of it, my work within this bigger piece of work, I can't think of anything else that I've done that's been as satisfying in that respect. So if you win an award for this, you'll say, I deserve well, it. yes. I mean, it would be wonderful if this won awards, and I, th uh, because I think it would encourage people to go and see it even more than they have been already. But uh, you know, we've already got our prize. The prize is the movie that we've made. When you talked to Sidney Shanberg before the film even started, what were the things you wanted to know from him? I wanted to know everything he had to tell me. I mean, there was no time to edit or uh, prearrange questions. I, the, I was going to Bangkok and I was going to play this part and it was a, I was in a big hurry and so was he. He wanted to tell me everything that he could conceivably think of and I wanted it, I wanted it all. And in fact, because of that time pressure, it was uh, a much more interesting way to do things because there was no editing. So I could when we went to work, I could just draw on it uh, in a much less organized and preconceived fashion. It was nice. So you didn't go into it with uh, a lot of, of uh, thoughts of what Cambodia was and what all had happened there and so forth. You just kind of started from scratch. I think by the time we started shooting, we all knew quite a bit about what had happened there. Um, it wasn't possible, as you probably remember, to know, even for an interested reader of the newspapers, to know what was going on at the time in any kind of a thorough way because it was so much overshadowed by the war in Vietnam. But by the time we started shooting, we all knew, we knew the story pretty thoroughly. This gentleman right here, um, of course, uh, is, you are not an actor, you're a doctor. Right. <laughs> uh, and I've already talked to Mr. Putnam and uh, to uh, Roland about how they found you. But now here you are in your very first acting role and you're getting you. acting nominations <laughs> and they're well deserved. But um, uh, for you, uh, your own story is every bit as incredible as uh, this, the man you depict, Prime. Yeah. Um, what was it like for you reliving this kind of thing? For about it, film or what? Uh, well, the things that, that you uh, had to go through in the film right. must have triggered all sorts of things from your own past. Right. And was that painful? And oh, yes, uh, very painful for me. But acting is a small piece, part, part, part like that, no problem. But the film coming out, I just saw one time only with the uh, royal premiere in London. So I cannot get up from the theater. So I stick it uh, all in the theater. And each time I watch that movie, I got really painful for my story. And I act, did plot story, really I act my story. Because my story is deeper than, and better, and worse than did plot story. In what way r worse? You mean you went through m more physical hardships and? Yes. Uh, Dit Brown is got just captured by Khmer Rouge just one time. And Dit Brown's story, he split his whole family to come to the United States first. And my story, captured by Khmer Rouge three times, and also my 
almost whole family killed by Khmer Rouge already. And he's joined in the United States, united with his whole family. How about I? My family is gone. So I, each time I saw that movie, I cannot stop my tear. And my heart, very, I got very painful for my story. What is it like in Cambodia now? Uh, so that the problem. I feel very happy that film coming out. At least I'm the one of the two million Cambodian people that represent around the world. Let the world how to know Cambodian right now. Because uh, every Christmas time, the Vietnamese still fight two innocent Cambodian people in the border around 200 to 300 thousand Cambodian people in the border. Are killed? Or, Not, or no, fighting, are living there. Fighting, fighting. 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 Okay. Fighting. Every year, every year. So I feel very happy. At least the superpower country must take a look on Cambodian small country. Not just only Cambodian small country. Around the world, which country is smaller? I feel very happy. Sam, what impact do you, as an American, want the film to have? Well, I, th I hope it has an impact that's international, not uh, that it's not, this isn't, I don't think this is a lecture in politics. I think this is a, a human story, and if people are affected by it, then it will influence what they do politically, diplomatically, and maybe even how they treat their husbands and wives. What do you think about this fellow, first time out doing such a fantastic job? I think it's amazing, and when I'm not <laughs> envious, I'm very, very <laughs> proud. <laughs> yeah, we we looking together very, very successful. That yeah. is for sure. And well, thank you both for talking with us today, and uh, we can only wish you continued success with The Killing Fields and, of course, with your individual careers. Thank you both. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, thank you. And uh, about here, okay. Just here. Okay, Let her go. Sam, do you consider this your best work? So if you win an award, you'll think, I deserve it, okay? When you talked with Shanberg ahead of time, what were the things you wanted to find out from him? What kind of impact do you think as an American, what kind of impact do you want this film to have? Having to relive your own experiences to some extent in this film, it must have been very painful for you. What do you mean that your own life was even worse than Prawn's? What is life like now in Cambodia? And I'll just give you reactions. Okay.